the easiest possible team. Everyone's like, that's a VGC is always so hard to get into. And I'm like, well, recently they just did a promotion where uh, they promoted all six of these Pokemon. Togekiss, it was Rotom in the wash form. You just got to change it. Uh, Tarantar, Exeter, Wimscott, and Dragapult. And they promoted these six Pokemon. And I think these six Pokemon actually have pretty good synergy. They have a pretty big ice weakness, especially if you go with a Rotom uh, Mo. But other than that, like, what are ice types weak against too? Those big rock moves. And so we got a T-Tar Exeter Core to, you know, balance it out. I think it's actually a pretty decent team. What I did was slapped three choice items, a Focus Sash, a Life Orbit, and an Belt, the six most aggressive items in the game. And then from there, I decided to level every single one of the Pokemon in just full offensive stats. And so I just want to do this to show you guys that every single Pokemon, like, it, the, not every single Pokemon, I just wanted to do this to show you guys that you can totally win with, like, just complete sweeper Pokemon. Full speed, full offensive natures, uh, all choice itemed out. And I think that it just really goes to show that, like, VGC is a lot more about learning the meta. It's not really as much about, like, you know, having the perfect team. Let's go! All right, Marshall of VGC. Oh, man, so we're fighting against someone who's actually really, really good in the very first game. That's going to be hard. Um, I think I'm going to go Pult. See, the problem with... I think I'm going to go, like, Pult... Whim? Good thing is this is not TR. Should I go Adamant Jolly for Unburdened Halucha? Um, I think you still should go Jolly, but like, it depends on your team for Adamant. Th so this person knows I stream, so there's a high chance they're going to come on the stream, see my items, they know my items, we lose a game. I'm just going to say that right here. Dragapult has the potential to be very, very good against this type of board, but we also can potentially struggle against Insin, like super hard. Let's see, what do I want to do if he goes like Insin... T-Tar. Since in T-Tar, I will go with my T-Tar and my Dragapult. Alright, and then I think that Whimsicott is still not terrible. I think we have to bring Togekiss here. And then we need one more Mon. It should probably just be our Excadrill. I like Rotom here, but we'll see. Yeah, um, Mar Marshallos VGC is a really, really good player, so we'll see. This is our first game with the team. Um, and let's see how it goes. Yeah, it does depend on the team for that Halucha. It really depends on, uh, like, you say Unburdened, but, like, how are you getting the proc, you know? It really depends on how you're going like a weakness policy, uh, like self quick attack pixelate proc to KO it. Like it really does depend on how you're going to try to get that off. But let's see. Let us see. Fuego. Fu Fuego Gyarados. Right, so in Incineroar is by far and away the correct pick uh, to lead against my team. By far and away. Super correct pick. Uh, one good thing about this lead is it really does uh, disincentivize the Gyarados to go for airstreams. Um, I can go for a Phantom Force into the Gyarados. I can actually go for a couple really, really big things here. I don't really care if he, like, hits my T-Tar with... Yeah, I don't really care if he hits my T-Tar with, like, a Vortex. He can fake out the T-Tar. He can also, like... There's a couple things he could do. I think I'm actually just going to go for the Rock Slide. And my T-Tar eating a... Uh, my T-Tar eating Intimidate is actually not that big of a deal. I am actually just going to go for the Phantasm onto the Gyarados. Uh, I would like to soften up that Gyarados as much as possible. And Gyarados is the... Uh, sorry, not Gyarados. He's withdrawing. Is that the... Does he have a fairy coming in? Togus. Yes, we just lost. It's okay. Again, it's completely fair that we lose this game. The only way that we win is if we flinch the Incineroar here. But we are wasting our max right here. It sucks. Yeah, it really sucks. Um, like I said, though, this person does know that I stream. They know the exact combo. All they would have to do is pop in and see my items here. So we'll see. Probably going to lose, though. Uh, I would not be... Uh, would not be surprised to see it. We'll see, though. Like, that's a pretty ballsy switch. Dragapult should be able to maybe... Oh, he actually goes for the fake out. All right, cool. Hey, we got shots to win, then. I mean, if you're going to play it like that, we do have shots. Fax Max Phantasm. Yep. It was much better to go for that instead of the other one. Just because of the Toga switching. I thought for a second I used the Dragon once, so why I was like, wait, crap. <laughs> but I think we're actually going to be okay. We actually outspeed... Um, a lot of those Pokemon. It's not weakness policy set, then maybe Jolly. Are you talking about the, uh, Pooja still? Awesome. So we're seeing the damage. We can KO the Kiss right here, and we can actually Oko that, uh, T-Tar. Sorry, we can actually Oko the Insin, I think, with a Rock Slide. Single target Rock Slide. So I, I don't know exactly which one I want to try and KO. I think I'm just going to Rock Slide and go for... I don't want a Geyser. I don't really want a Wyrmwind. I don't really need to Phantasm here. I think I will just Phantasm the same token slot, because it'll KO through the Protect. If he goes for a follow me, he goes for a follow me. Switch drawing. Okay, cool. Cool beans. Uh, I don't think that Gyarados was Intimidate, was it? It was Moxie, right? Yeah, it was. So he actually has double Intimidates, which means he's going to do really, really big damage. 
to my uh, T-Tar this turn. Or not to my T-Tar, to my uh, Dragapult. Man, I gotta wake up. He's Dynamax and the Incineroar. That's actually super pog. Uh, we're gonna be minus three on our T-Tar. So we're actually gonna be at minus two because of our Choice Band. We'll see how this goes. Um, Incineroar Dynamaxing is pretty... That's pretty pog. Is it Weakness and Sin? Uh, we should be able to do massive damage as Gyarados this turn. Actually, Gyarados would probably go down if we hit our uh, Rock Slide. Like, cause he's gonna take a defense drop here. Yeah. And then all we have to do is hit the Rock Slide on it. And we do still have extra on the back. He's getting super low back there. So I actually think we're in a pretty decent spot. He can totally kill my Dragapult this turn. Yep, we outspeed the Incin. Look at that damage. It's significant damage for a minus three T-Tar. I want to see if it's weakness policy in Sin though. Note that we, us outspeeding that Incineroar with our uh, T-Tar is super premium. Yeah. Oh, I actually lived. Wow, that's super nice. Because that's bowling is Dynamax. Like we can take a t take a chip damage from the sand from the sorry from the uh, yeah, from the sand. That's okay. Does Halucho learn bulk up? I don't know. It's a good question. Um, I might be able to. I, I think I can actually kill that guy with a max move. Uh, max Geyser will be able to kill that thing. And let's see what he actually sends out here. It's not going to be Totokiss, right? It's going to be Pharaoh. Yeah, it's totally fine. Um, Titar, I don't actually need to stay in and eat that. I can actually just switch in my Togekiss, I think. Because it's relative. Actually, I, I, do I want to switch in Exodrill? Yeah, switch in Exodrill is a little bit better. Because we want to save a Togekiss to be able to uh, go for... Yeah, I, I see how exactly I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this here, send up my Titar, reset it. Then Togekiss going for like Heat Waves after it does Sands up. Uh, we should be able to kill here because he's at minus one or minus two. Titar, come back. I wonder if he's going to, like, protect with the Incin and go for, like, a Gyro on my Dragapult. That's totally fine. I mean, they do it, they do it, you know. T2, oh, it's going to protect. He thought I might have something spicy. No, no spice. Only, only damage. Only the geysers. Only the big geysers. That life orb, life orb dive boosted physical geyser. Are we taking those? We'd be taking those. Look at Incineroar's foot back. Did you see it? It's weird. Yeah, not bad. Let's see. Dragon Focus Down is actually good. We wanted to go down there because now I can just send out my uh, T Tar. Now we just send out the T Tar. And we just go Iron Head into the Togekiss and Super Power, Choice Band Super Power into the uh, Ferrothorn and we win. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. And so remember, my team is just the six Pokemon that were boosted by raids. Full offensive. Six offensive items, three of them choiced, no protects. Like, it shows that, like, VGC is totally possible to be, uh, I don't want to say, how do I, how do I even put it? Like, it's possible with anything. All you have to do is, like, learn the matchups. And I think that, like, the dive tech on the Dragapult super saucy. Let's see if it's Reviri. We also get to check Reviri, but he's also not going to be able to live this because he's too low. And then he's probably thinking, like, Psh, it's T-Tar. I'm fine. But we're using a choice band super power T Tar. You got Chopperberry Chief? Let's see it. Choice band beatdown. Choice band beatdown. One hit KO on a Ferrothorn. Don't you love to see that? I know I do. I know that I do. I'm gonna take the wins. Super cool stuff. Yeah, on the first turn of that game, I thought that I used uh, the max dragon attack. And he's switching the Togekiss, which is what he probably thought I was doing. He thought I was trying to apply an Intimidate. I actually, I thought that I used it, and I misclicked and went for the Phantasm, which won me the okay, game. Okay, let's see. Shandy, double ghost. I think that might actually be a Scarf Shandy. I'm actually really, really scared of Scarf Shandy. Great battle. I was want to use Focus Sash Kiss. Yo, your team was so dope. You won the speed tie on the Dragapult on the first turn. Otherwise, that would have been a completely different game, I think. All right, let's see. Durant. Uh, I can Oko the Durant, I think. With Kiss. I don't even need to use, like, Whimsicott or anything. I think, like, if we just bring two Mons that can, like, fight Durant, we're good. Do I want, like, Max Darkness? I actually outspeed... No, I don't outspeed my Kiss. Let's see. We have to play around Fake Out. So we have to, like, leave with something that says, like, yo, you need to Fake Out me right now. I think I'm gonna go Kiss. And I'm, I'm actually gonna go Kiss and Pult. Because Pult says, like, respect me immediately with your Pult. It also helps check Shandy. Is T-Tar good here? He doesn't really have fighting mons. So I'm gonna go T-Tar and then just extra drill in the back. All right, let's try these. Let's go. Let's see how he plays around my kiss. I wanna see if he leads with like Moody Colo. 
I know I'm using a Scrap Kiss, but like I am not opposed to Dynamaxing. If he does, if he leads Ludicolo Durant, this will change the course of the game. But I don't think he's leading with that. Chandelier Durant, that's totally fine. This is pretty expected, I would say, because we're going to like super outspeed here. But I think that he's probably he's thinking that we're going to go for Follow Me. So like we have to play around that. Can break the shandies disguise here i kind of still want to just heat wave you're gonna think that's weird but it's not this only really loses a scarf shandy and he's going big durant so i don't care about proccing his flash fire because even if you have a flash fire proc flash fire isn't the same as like lightning rod it's not the same as storm drain it doesn't power up your special attacks it powers up your fire attacks I'm not afraid of eating a fire attack on my Kitar, which we're probably going to be using heavily in this game. So our plan is to uh, deal with the Durant. Chandler will eventually get its Sash clocked. Chandler's going to ally switch. Go for it. That works for me. Did we just miss on the Durant? Okay, flash fires up. That's completely fine. Choice Scarf. And then I just switch in my shan or switch in. This man played himself, he did. I'm just gonna switch in my T-Tar. Just clock your sash. T-Tar, I'll finish you off. Nice Dynamax, Chief. Don't make me Dynamax my Tokus. Give myself an airstream or some shit. Oh, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'ma do it. I didn't even want to do it, but I mean I'll do it. I wonder if he's gonna like ally switch again. Yeah, he's probably gonna kill my pult here. Um, so I'm gonna like air slash KO the uh Udicolo. Shandy can go with like a big uh like shadow ball into my uh dragon pult. I'll just send out the T after that, give him more airstreams and be able to win the game. I bet he really didn't expect the Dynamax on the Choice Scarf Mon either. Very rarely do you see like the Dynamax Choice Scarf Mon. That's not like super meta. Hey man, if it works, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You gotta be you gotta learn to be flexible. The DC he didn't expect it, yo. <laughs> You really didn't expect that one. He's like, ha, you will use Heat Wave, and I have Flash Fire. And I'm like, actually, you just sent out the juiciest Ludi Cole I've ever seen. So many people rage quitting today. I mean, like we always say, I would quit too if I suck. I would, I would scoop too if I was absolutely terrible at the game. I would, I would scoop too. We get to see the last of the, we get to see the end of the turn too. They're not ready. No, no one's ready. Hell, no one's ready. I, I bet you we didn't even like shadow ball me. I bet you like did something stupid. I bet you like shadow ball my kiss or some shit. Let's see what move. Really, he heat waved or something. We get to see the move. What is it? What's the move? What are you using? There it is. Yeah. No wonder he scooped. It's like what? <laughs> he thought I was gonna switch out, switch in for extra draw. I um, think. I do think that like Draco Zolt is potentially a problem, but not one that I can't deal with. I do actually like Whimsicott here. See the news that online tournament after the SEO best of three? I did. Let's see. I actually like Togekiss a lot here too. I like Togekiss because it can like break Mimikyu guys super easy and like Flinch Town's actually not that bad. Like this Togekiss actually has a like, good matchup versus Extra Drill because we outspeed it. So Togekiss is okay. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna break. I'm, I'm not gonna lead with it. Uh, I kind of want to just go like Whimsicott Dragapult because it would force him to go for Fake Out, right? It would force the Fake Out. And if he goes, like, yeah, so I'm going to go Whimscott Dragapult. And then I think you want the extra draw. I think Titar's okay here, but I'm not I'm not very keen on setting sand for him. Uh, I think Rotom is okay here. But again, Rotom struggled a little bit with the Mimikyu last time. So I'm actually just going to bring the Togekiss. So I can just go for uh, Choice Scarf Boost, the Dazzling Gleams. Really, really good versus uh, the Drake Uh Choice Scarf Heat Waves, really, really good versus Extra Drill. And, uh, you know, I think we're going to be pretty good. Worst case scenario, we just flinch down as Melodic. I think that's exactly what uh, our win condition needs to be in this situation. And it says Alberto. I don't know if it's Alberto Wera. Cali Sweeper. But we'll see. We will see. Alright. Let me get some good copy here. 
I mean, Alberto would have the default pick. <laughs> I also changed my trainer outfit. Now we'll see. I didn't see what his rank was, but... In Cinerex, it's exactly what I thought. So we have a good match against one of these. See, the thing is, like, I don't really know who he's going to go after. I mean, you have to switch in the Togekiss here. If he nukes the Togekiss there, I, I almost want to say I'm still fine. I'm fine with that. Like, if you KO my Togekiss and you weed, like, that board, and I do it like this, because we're, we're actually going to Geyser into that Incineroar. This gets me to save my Whimsicott, which is actually pretty good still. Like, I don't need to just lose my Whimsicott. I don't actually think that's value. And weaving it in to, like, go for, like, what? I don't need a Tailwind here. Let's do it. I think Incineroar is stickier than an Exedrill is in this situation. So if he wants to go fake out into my Togekiss, Iron Head, Steel Spike into my Togekiss, I think that's completely fine. Uh, we'll just send out another Pokemon, like maybe our Whimsicott again, maybe our Togekiss. Uh, regain Speed Control, go for like a Dazzling Moment whenever he sends out. Maybe it's the Draco Zolt. And, uh, you know, then from there. I don't think he's Dynamaxing this uh, Exedrill, by the way. I think he's just going for fake out and probably an Iron Head into it. So we're going to try to Oko his Exedrill. Is Encore there to help a TR? Encore is just a good move. Uh, it is good against certain TRs, but you got to think about what's usually setting TR. It's usually Hattori. You can totally do this. I, I really don't care if he kills my Togekiss. There's the Geyser. So I think that Exodule is also Big Sash. So it's like, when we take out his Exodule, one hit KO, we're going to set the rain, which makes our next Max Geyser. So if he did actually go for like a Dynamax Exodule and go for like a Steel Spike, he would have a plus one defense boost, but this would have also like helped us mitigate that a lot. And uh, let's see. Let, I really don't care if you hit my Togekiss with this Iron Head. Like, that's totally fine. That's all you. Like, you could have it. I, I would love to see you take Life Orb damage, but, like, that's totally fine. All right, no Life Orb damage. So I should probably have to send out the extra, or the uh, Whimsicott here. And so we can nuke that extra this turn. And if he decides to send out the Drake Zolt, I think we're actually just completely fine with this, too. Because we just super double outspeed him. There's the Mimikyu. Okay, is Mimikyu a problem? I'm actually serious. Is, like, Mimikyu a problem? Like, I can kill that with my extra if I break the disguise, so we should be trying to break the disguise here. I mean, I could just KO that extra draw this turn. Ignore it. Lose my pulse. And then you have big Dynamax energy. I think the right play might actually just be... What is my mod on the back? It's slower, right? It's an extra draw of my own. Oof. Yeah, I think that might be the right play. I think we're just going to Moonblast the Mimikyu. And just go for a max card. As lame as that sounds. So let's see. I wonder if he's rock falling instead of using... Like, if he rock falls, he gets a double speed boost and he's gonna be able to outspeed me. Yeah, that, this could be a mistake. We'll see the steel spike, though. I think it's rock fall because I think he's gonna try and break my sash. You know what I mean? Yeah, Mimikyu's starting to become a big pain for this team because we have too many choice items. We have just way too many choice items. We can't effectively, like, deal with Mimikyu. Breaking that's pretty nice. I want to see if he TRs, but I, I want to... Oh, actually, he's Breaker, so I don't actually care if he Rock Falls. But I don't even care. Does not matter. Steel Spike into Wim. Steel Spike into Dragapult. Oh, am I the best player ever? It looks like I must be. Trick Room, that's fine. That's still okay. I think. Because we have this. So this is going to Encore reset his TR. But I don't know how that's actually going to go down. Looks like he stayed in. Let's see if he's mental or... They're not usually mental or anymore. But we'll see. Awesome, no mental or... So he's going to get a Steel Spike off. It's not going to do a ton, a ton. It's just going to give him the double defense boost. And this helps me reset him. And he's stuck using TR. And he's going to be the last one. So all I going to do is nuke the Mimikyu next turn. Or we let it TR if we want. Um, I don't think we do. So he's going to have to reset his TR. We take those. And then let's see how much damage we do with this uh, plus one. Water boosted. Life or boosted. Big max geyser. About half. That's totally fine. 
And a policy. Oh, shit. I think that's alright. I think policy's okay. He's a very bulky boy. I wonder if he's gonna try to, like... I wonder if the Mimikyu is good. I wonder if he's gonna, like, max guard. Like... I wonder if he's gonna, like, max guard... TR me again? Because, like, I can't stop that uh, with my with my Dragapult. I actually cannot. So, I bet you the best play here would be to just go for, like, Energy Ball into his Pult. Guaranteed deal with the Mimikyu with a Phantom Force. Like, it's Dunzoed. And we'll see how this is gonna go down. Yep, he's standing go for Trick Room again. He didn't go for a Max Guard either. That's pretty sad. Alright, it's fine. Yeah, that last turn, Dynamax turn, like, really messed me up. It's a two shot here. Max Quake. Yo, he wants it. No, target. Love to see it. So Trick Room is reversed again. Um, he might switch out that Mimikyu this turn. Um, let's see, though. Who wants to take that big damage? He's also out of Dynamax turns over there. He thinks I'm hitting the X-Rail, too, which I'm not. What did he have in the back? He also thinks that I'm Sash, but I'm not. His, did his x use any other moves? It, it Iron Tailed, the, or Iron Headed the first turn. So I could technically Encore his x because it did use Iron Head the first turn before Dynamaxing. It would, it would make him be stuck into Iron Head. He's a plus two. I think we just have to like... He's gonna use Iron Head anyways. I should just switch out my Whimsicott for an Excadrill. I should. I should just do it. He's gonna try Mimikyu, obviously, yeah. Melodic, alright. That's a pain in the ass. So, I'm looking at it like this. We're gonna guarantee, like, have something to almost deal with that Excadrill. He got a crit there, didn't really need it. Yeah, I should have just encored him, because now he can high horsepower if he really wants. But, like, I'm hoping that, like, we lose it. I'm hoping that we can win a speed tie. It's a lot of damage still. There's a crit. Wow. It's a big crit. Is that Citrus? Survey says... Rain stopped. Okay. Yeah, he's adamant extra drill. Uh, well, act actually, he just he just wins, actually. We don't have any protects. <laughs> and... We don't have any protects. And... Uh, he's weakness policy. So he's actually made to be slower than me. I should have actually targeted him down with that Phantom Force last turn. I probably could have won the game because his Mimikyu had to switch there. So we probably just lost because of that. That definitely is going to cost me. The only way we lose this game, or the only way we win this game is if he misses a uh, high horsepower. Doesn't really matter what move I use here. Protect Exodrill. Okay. Yeah, he's trying to break my Exodrill Sash, which is the right play. So he's going to go for like, oh, recover. All right. If you want to wait out your own Trick Room, go for it, Chief. What if I use the Phantom Force that turn, though? Never lucky. Oh well. Darts is gonna do double. So pretty good. Now you go for a nice recovery chief. That was another crit. Yo, am I scope ones right now? <laughs> double crit. There's this. Oh, he has a wiki berry. Wow. Pretty good. Pretty good wiki berry. Again, he has to hit this. He's gonna go for like a muddy water like KO. Like I can't do anything other than exactly this. I have to do it just like this, so it's fine. If he switches out either of those, my Dragon Arts will get redirected. He's gonna go for another recover. So no, he's, I wonder if he's just hitting my Pult. If he is just hitting my Pult, there's almost a shot that we can get something done with uh, Exodor, because this will be the last turn of the, oh, I undersped, I undersped him. We speed tied. Oh, he's full jolly with weakness policy. I'll take that. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. That is exactly what I take right now. Give me that. Give me that, which I take. Last turn of TR. Last turn of TR, chat. Okay. He thinks I'm going to protect this turn. I can't protect this turn. You want to try to get the Mimikyu off the board because it has that Shadow Sneak, but like it can't. So now let's do it like this. Muddy Water, he's going for it. He double hits. He's going to just take out my, uh, oh my goodness. That puts my X, oh my Dragapult actually just lived that. Holy moly. 
Iron head, take out the movie queue. Oh my gosh, we're gonna win. Chat, we're gonna win the game. Are you, can you believe this? I cannot believe we're in this game. We need to put some wins up. I cannot believe this. Would've been better to use the, uh, what is it? It would've been better to use Dragon Arts Act turn because we've got a double tap on it, but I still, I still think we're gonna be fine. As long as we hit this high horsepower. If we miss this high horsepower, we will lose. I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, I have to. Because, like, Vandaport is going to kill us. Oh my gosh, I should have just iron-headed. I should have just iron-headed, chat! Chat, I should have just used iron-head! No! I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss. Alright, I hit. Oh my gosh. Give me those wins, yo. That was a close, close, close game. I'm going to go Rotom Wim. I don't know if I want to Dynamax the Wim, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to bring it, you know. Um, I don't really want to bring T-Tar. I think you're going to bring Pult here. And then I think that I think that Togekiss is a decent enough last mon to be able to bring it. All right, let's go. Let's see. You say go for Decorate. Eevee's here for you to catch the stream. Yo, that's good. Were you yelling or screaming? No, I was just playing like this. But I was doing it at like 6 in the morning. So, like, the neighbors over there could hear it, waking him up. Let's see it. Um, the thing is, it's like, I don't know if he's going, like, Dust Clops Arcanine or, like, Wops are coming. This is totally fine. I wonder if I actually should be Dynamaxing my Wim here. I, I will be Dynamaxing my Wim here, I think. And then I'm going to go for a uh, Leaf Storm into the Lapras. So, we're going to go for a Leaf Storm. And better than just, like, a... Do you guys think I need the Leaf Storm? I think I will Leaf Storm. I think if we get the Lapras off the board, we can just win. Do you guys think we can one-shot a Max Lapras with this? We're gonna find out. I bet he wasn't expecting a Max Whimsicott, was he? I bet you weren't expecting me to Max my Whimsicott. If I can take out your Lapras, this game is absolutely over. Yo, thank you for the follow. Seriously, like, can we one-shot this Lapras? We have Expert Belt Whimsicott. I think, like, even if, if we could take out the Lapras, I feel that, like, he's stuck with just an Alcremie on the board. Is he gonna, like, Max Guard? Does Deca does Decker go through Max Guard? It shouldn't. Nothing should go through Max Guard. I'll see. I bet I, I, bet I can one-shot it. Helping hand. Someone's gonna get big sad in two seconds. Hopefully it's not me. How much is has to do like at least 40%. Otherwise we're big bone. I think Rotom can do it. Rotom. Show us what you're working with, Chief. I know we don't have the boost from the terrain because we're levitating, but like one time. Can you move one time? Weakness policy? I don't care about your weakness policy, Chief. A hundred big bits, yo. Come on, Rotom. Please storm. That's what I'm talking about, yo. Lapras? I never even heard of it. Nice helping hand, too. Like, quality stuff. Thank you for the bits, my friend. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. That's that's competitive Pokemon. Dust Cops. All right, so he's going to get a TR up. Can't really do anything about the TR. Nice specs. Expert belt. You know what I'm about, son. All right, so, like, he's going to get his TR up, but, like, what does he have in the back? That's Cavalier. I haven't Dynamax, though. I think we're just gonna nuke the Alcremie. Same shit, different day. Yeah. Your opponent forgot to take their turn one. Yeah, I don't care if he turns me. I mean, I do, I do care. I could have switched out. But, like, it's fine. G Max Lapras, delete, yo. Leaf Storm. Oh, MG. Show me that TR. I'm wondering what your last mon is, because whatever it is, it's going to have to deal with, like, a max whim. And then, like, a couple other still pretty good Pokemon. Like, as Cavalier, it has to be as Cavalier. If it's Arcanine, like, I just have too much to shove it in. Like, I feel if it was Arcanine, he would have sent that out. No, he had to set it the TR. Like, I don't know. It's have okay, it's as Cavalier. It is as Cavalier, which is a good Pokemon here, because it has super effective moves on freaking everything. And, like, I'm big sad right now with my Rotom. I think we need to switch out. He's gonna go for a bug attack. Toke is gonna kill by an iron head or whatever, anyways. I think it's actually better to take this time to pop a Starfall. Because I don't want to will wisp my Dragapult. Like I don't really care about the damage, I just want the Starfall up. And I'm not gonna use dragon attacks per se. 
Iron Head. Oh, go for it, Chief. That's all you. You are not strong enough. I'm so strong. Nightshade. I'm so strong. Whimsicott. Whimsicott busted. Let me wait out those TR turns. Alright, if I catch him slipping on the wrong move, like, I can Encore that as Cavalier into, like... I can. I can Encore this Cavalier into, like, the incorrect move. Like, Iron Head. So, like, I can switch in my Rotom and Encore him into Iron Head. Yeah, one Heat Wave and this game's over. So, we just need to save our toe. Oh, you just scooped. Free throw, Hatterene. So you can't encore the half. So like this is a matchup like that's hard. It's very not good. Hmm. See, I don't want to go pulp because you can just switch in the diggers beam. So like we have to play it a little bit smarter. I bet that's actually like a Babiri berry over there. Like I kind of want to go like Titar, but not now he has a conkle there. We're actually gonna have to risk it, I think. I think we're gonna have to go Wim. I think Wim is a decent enough week, but we can't. We have to go Wim and like nuke something. So like Wim and it can't. It can't be. I, we have to go like Wim Togekiss, I think, and try and nuke someone, and then encore them to reset their TR. But, like we can't really deal with like the. Uh... Let me think about it. I have a better idea. No, that idea sucks. I'm still gonna do it. Where are you looking? I'm gonna use double rock slide. Because I know that that's not what you're about. I know you don't wanna deal with it. I know. I know that you don't wanna deal with double rock slide turn one and that you're probably not gonna lead Conkle there. What's your next big tournament? They have disabled all Pokemon tournaments for the rest of the year. So there are no Pokemon tournaments that are regionals or nationals or anything like that. So there's no Pokemon until 2021. Let's see. You better not leave Conkle there. All right, cool. That's fine. I think I'm okay with this. I think I actually just want to go like Rock Slide and Assurance. Oh, Player Cup. That's not a regional. Like that's not a big tournament. That's stupid. He sees my choice ban. He sees it. I think I'm actually just going to go for it. I think I'm actually just going to go for the assurance. And we're just going to go for a rock slide. It's better than the double rock slide here. If he uses ally switch, he uses ally switch. Um, helping hand. Uh, we're just going to flinch him. Obviously. Obviously, we're just going to flinch him. Show me the flinch. One, two, three. Flinch. Flinch him. Destroy him. Flinch. Never lucky. Ow. Well, that sucked. What does it do? It deals double damage if you make contact, but we just get never lucky. Has something to do with placing high in the AC? Yeah, but like you're never gonna get it, so it's not like it's not like you're never gonna get it, but like no one's ever gonna get it, so it's not really it's not really worth talking about. Yeah, if we get a flinch uh, eventually, we're actually just gonna roll this guy, so it's okay. Worlds wouldn't have a, it's not gonna be legendaries for a couple years. I think you should throw this rock slide again. I could actually, let me think about this. What if I went like Air Slash into the Dust Cops and just popped a Sword Stance here? This covers Ally Switch and TR. And like, what's he gonna do? Earth, like High Horsepower, my Exodus, I have a Sash. I don't think he has um, even Dynamax. So yeah, he's trying not to get flinched. So that means actually the play that I just made is probably the right one. If Even if they hit themselves in confusion. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Assurance is a pretty good, pretty good move. It just sucks to we get the flinch and the diggers be on the first turn. We would have one-shotted that uh, Dust Cops in the face. Helping hand, round two. Yo, he wants it. I wonder if he's going to go after my Togekiss this turn. Either way, I'm just trying to stop. I'm just trying to buy my extra time to get Swords Dances off. I haven't Dynamaxed yet, which is pretty nice. I probably one-shot that guy now. Let's see how much damage we deal here. Air Slash is up. All right, we can probably kill that extra uh, Rock Ball. That's totally fine. Kill my Togekiss. I really don't care about that. It's not even a big issue. See, the fact that we're losing these Pokemon one for one, but we haven't Dynamaxed and we have a Sword Stance off, it might almost end up being better for me. All we have to do is check that Diggers B while still checking the Dusk Ops. So we have to get like double KOs this turn, which is definitely possible. Uh, I can Dynamax my, um, I think I can, I can Dynamax my Pulp and probably KO that freaking Diggers B. I could, I probably could. 
But the thing is, like, he's going to ally switch this turn. We know that he's going to ally switch this turn. So, like, how is he going to do that? How do we cover that? Phantasm would KO. I can get a double KO here. I know that I can. Try that. We're gonna go with the geyser in the dust clops. This also helps me cover um, Max Guard Trick Room. So we're faster than our Dragapult right now. So we're going for a high horsepower into the dust clop slot. If he does decide to use ally switch, we're gonna double hit that uh, Diggersby slot. And remember the reason why like ally switch is super good here is because he has Diggersby is a normal type. So let's see if he's ally switching. High horsepower? Are you just dead? All right, cool. Hey, this is this is okay. We're gonna be using a Y4 boosted max 130 base power move. Super effective. I know you're a max mom, but like, oh yeah, he barely lived that. Oh well. Hey, what are you gonna do, right? What are you actually gonna do? Um, I tried. I really did. <laughs> but it happens. Darkness. Wow, he has everything. I'm probably gone, but we'll see. Oh yeah, he doesn't have the. He doesn't have the. Uh, choice item boost right now okay yeah he's not like orbed or else he would have died already i'll see um is it hat or is it like a priority mon or that thing um so i can probably kill that thing i outspeed right now so it's like I can probably just get away with going like Phantasm into that thing. Phantasm here and just like a rock slide. All I have to do is hit the rock slide. Yeah, all I gotta do is hit a rock slide. He might be max guarding so we can go for like something else, like a sucker punch. All right, he's still gonna take a decent amount of damage. As long as hit my rock slide, we're fine. That defense drop's important for a Serena versus the Exodol matchup. The defense drop makes it so even if he kills my Pult here for some reason, like let's say I miss a Rock Slide, I think he would still go down. Oh, he actually outsped my Exodrill. Oh yeah, that thing's base like 89. He's gonna clock my Sash and then be able to faint me, I think. If he has faint or like quick attack, we're gonna probably be big sad. Fuck, I forgot that that thing actually outspeeds Exodrill. I forgot, yeah. I should have just hit it, yeah. Oh well. Iron had probably would have killed the Serena. Yeah, I thought I assumed that I outsped it. Yeah, I bet you the Serena has faint. So faint can Oko my actual because he knew it was Sash. So like whatever he's coming out here, he gets cause he he went for that turn knowing for a fact that like Sash is down on my Exodrill. Dirty's base 78. Why is he outspeeding my Exodrill then? I know it's raining, but like why is he outspeeding my Exodrill? If you look at my extra drill, like, is that a freaking conk? Yeah, conks in the back, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, because we're adamant. That's why. Fuck, we're adamant. We've been adamant extra drill this whole time. Okay. Well, that sucks. But let's see what I want to do here. You have to do it like that. And you might as well just go for one of these. He's gonna mock punch us. It won't be that tr. Yeah, he did. So phantasm is gonna. Oh, he's not mock punching. He's not mock punching. We win. Okay. He didn't mock punch. I think he's uh, expecting me to protect. I don't even have it. I can't even protect. The plan was to get the defense drop on the conk and then just ban him for us, which would have won me that game still too, but we win. Adam and Excadrill. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that value.